Hello, welcome to another video. In this video, we're taking a closer look at the Terra Nova Laser Compact AS. I wanted to use this a few times before doing a proper review on it. I have used it in some adverse conditions and this is that review. I'll get it set up. I tried to do this review in the garden, but the neighbors were making noise and then it started raining. It's probably gonna rain again, but I'm doing it no matter what, even if it gets wet. So with the tent, it comes with these stakes. 14 are these Terra Nova stakes. They are pretty long. And these hug the ground like nobody's business. You also get a pole fixer in there. Let's get it set up. It's very easy to set up, very easy to put away. It's a four season, one man tent, but unlike a lot of other one man tents, it actually fits one man in there. And your bags, there's room to sit up. It's kind of a one and a half man tent, very spacious. So I just peg out the floor first just so that it doesn't blow away. It also comes with these. You've got one blue pole, one blue pole, and two of these small black poles. There's a sleeve on the outside with a little bit of silver around it. Your main blue pole just goes through the middle. And then there's a couple of eyelets attached to this blue material here, color coordinated very simple the stability in this tent for your four season comes from the amount of guy lines and pegs that you get with it and i've had it out when the winds have been howling and the rains have been biblical so in here come and have a look so this black pole has one end that fits in the eyelet the other end is flattened off you look under here there's a little red tab and the flattened off end just slides in there. And then this goes in the eyelet at the bottom. Simple as that. Looks a bit wonky, doesn't it? It's a bit wonks, to be fair. And then it's just mirrored on the other side. Same thing. A little red tab in here. Easy to find, easy to get in. Very quick and easy to put up. What was that, like three or four minutes? There you go, look, three or four minutes and it's up and it is sturdy. <laughs> I camped in this through torrential rain and it ended up in a bowl, in a puddle. The water still didn't come through the bottom of it and it held well. We had gale force winds, everything thrown at it and it held perfectly. I'm more impressed though with the room. Let's have a look inside. <laughs> I'm glad they've done this. Instead of the loose toggles, it's got one of these. You just go, pull it, and that ain't going anywhere. <laughs> so, there is room. Not masses of room, but there is room for your bag, your shoes, and things at the side. Once this is closed, it gives you quite a nice area if you want to do some cooking. This door actually folds completely down. So on a sunny day, you can have it completely open, nice and airy. Right, come on. This week's video is kindly sponsored by Beer 52. So you get your two snacks. Should we have a little go on them? Fava beans and a nice Chianti. Tex-Mex mini tortillas. You get your Ferment magazine. Faith by Northern Monk, the champagne of the North. There's Russ and Brian. Wonderful article, wonderful to see the lads. <laughs> oh, I absolutely love it. It's got to be this one, hasn't it? Hike the Pike, hazy IPA, 7% douche. Let's get it cracked. Look at the colour on that. Absent friends. Oh, 
absolutely delicious. It is hazy. Look at the trails left on the glass sign of a quality beer. But I'd expect nothing less from Northern Monk. And our friends at Beer 52 are offering you a case of 10 beers. And if you don't like the dark beers, just choose the light beer option. Uh, check out and you'll just get the light beers. It's fruity, it's like a melted Solero. Yeah, someone's just dunked a pillow in melted Solero and gone oink. Because it's soft, it's fruity and it's creamy, yes. Hello, have you got any banter? Because I'm running very, very short on bants. Got any? Hello? And with Father's Day coming up, it's the perfect gift. This month, they've collaborated with craft beer legends, I concur, Northern Monk, and a host of incredible breweries across the UK to develop eight completely new and exclusive beers. Only found in this box, so I feel quite privileged, and this one is very delicious. It's www.beer52, that's the number 52.com forward slash beer haze. Just cover the 5.95 postage and it'll turn up on your doorstep and you can gift it to your father should you have one. And you can pause or cancel your subscription at any time. Back to the video. I'll kick my shoes off because ignore the pink socks. Don't ignore them if you don't want them. I mean, focus on them. It has this little bit of extra material so once it's zipped up you can leave it that far open just to help with condensation. That's it, it's closed up. It's symmetrical, so you can have your head at any end. Uh, there are pockets at either side as well. There's one on that side to mirror this. I'm sat up straight here, and my head is only just off the roof, which for a one-man tent is great. I've got loads of room either side for me. You could fit two people in here at a push quite easily. I don't think you'd fit the big air beds in here, but you'd definitely get a couple of people in here. No bother. This opens up. It's an extra zip all the way and that is a bug mesh just to let a bit more airflow through you can have a view and then there's these ties here and this is probably my only bugbear is these ties are too loose I'll show you this is my bugbear in most tents so roll it up all nice and tight put these through which are so loose I don't know why they haven't done what they did on the outside with these as well. I guess it's to save weight, but... So there you go, that's all done. But if the wind, just a little bit of wind is on there, or you knock it, that's coming... Look how it just comes loose again. And I know it's not a lot, but that just... I like everything to be squared away nicely, nice and tight there. But it works perfectly for condensation. And also... On the condensation front, we've got these at either side, which are brilliant. That comes down and there's a flap there on the outside as well. And they're on both sides, so you get the airflow going all the way through the tent. So I've, I've had both of them open, this open, and then my little thing on there. And there was plenty of airflow going through. Condensation wasn't a problem at all. And it just feels really good. The floor is so waterproof, as I say, the, the floor was undulating with how much water was underneath it. Nothing came through, so you don't even need a footprint for this. You can do if you want to err on the side of caution, but I didn't need one. I'm, it's so hot in here now. Woo. So the weight of this thing is just... For, and that for a four-season tent, that is pretty good. The fly comes all the way to the floor to stop snow drift. The ventilation is great. It's light enough for multi-day winter backpacking, which is perfect. This is proper lightweight, very durable, and it looks good, doesn't it? I think it just looks great. Do a little 360 of it. There you go. You can see all the guy up points. You've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, not including the ones on the floor. And as I said before, that's where it gets its stability from. It's an unbelievable tent. For the weight and the fact that it's four season and the quality, I'm very, very impressed with it. And as I say, I have tested this and it is holding up very well. And this is now my winter camping tent. I feel safe in it. It's passed the test. It's lightweight. And that is, and it's two thumbs up from me. As I'm making this video, the tent costs 
You can get a 20% discount if you use my code. I'll leave a link for that below. And just the inner toggles are a little bit loose. So if you're listening Terra Nova, just tighten them up a little bit. And I think we've got ourselves a perfect tent here. Definitely a perfect winter camping tent. But if you were just gonna get one tent to rule them all and have it all year round and it be just one, this would be it. That's what I would use. Of all the tents that I own, if I had to have one tent for for the whole four seasons this would be it it's light enough to use in summer and spring it's durable enough to use in winter it just ticks all the boxes and i love it and as i said easy to put up and very easy to put down and it's pretty stealth as well <laughs> i love it i think it's amazing i did want to use it a few times first before doing this review just so that i could get to grips with it i have done and so this is my honest opinions of it. This was just a little midweek extra video. The Sky Trail continues this Sunday. But for now, thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now. I don't have anything special to do. Didn't really think it through. So I'm just going to do a weird skip around the tent. Maybe do a curtsy and wish you well. Bye.